Okay, I'm going to show you guys very quickly how to set up a testing server on Dreamweaver CS4. I've produced one video so far, but I thought I might start out by explaining things a little bit more complete. The very first thing, this video is for MAMP, M-A-M-P, for the Mac. So just bear that in mind. However, I do believe, hopefully, fingers crossed, that this does work for Windows as well, but I can't be certain, unfortunately. But having said that, this is for MAMP. And to download MAMP, it's found here, http colon forward slash MAMP info. This is it. Now, once you get to this screen, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the one-click solution for setting up a personal web server. Because 90% of the time, when you're doing web server and hosting pages for testing purposes, generally speaking, you only want to briefly test and eventually you're going to just upload PHP based pages and what have you down the track. So remember that this is all about getting a testing server set up on your personal computer. I'm not going to worry about this, MAMP Pro, uh, virtual hosts and all the rest. I'm just not going to get into that. Um, that's just not what I'm about. So this is just generally speaking, seeing it up here. You click that, download, the file starts to download. Then you'll just get that standard screen where you drag the icon literally from the screen over into um, the applications folder. Once you've done that, I'm going to show you where it ends up. It ends up in here. Man ends up here. There it is. That's where it will download. Now, I did download the pro version. I've never opened it up. I haven't bothered. So this is where your man setup will be. Now, remember man is Mac, stands for Mac, Apache, MySQL, PHP. So it is a fantastic way of setting up dynamic websites. So you can set up people's um, PHP files and test them. You can set up their database connection on your server, test it out, and then upload to their hosting. And it's, it's an excellent environment to do all your testing. Now, I'm going to open this up. And you can see the files that are created. The one that's going to be most important to you is this one, htdocs, okay? And this is the folder where you save all your files that you want to test. So for example, with the work that I've been doing, I've created a couple of subfolders within this folder. The HT docs, this is where you're going to put all of your PHP pages, and I've put them in subfolders. So here, PHP test, this is where I've done a lot of testing of pages. Okay. Currently, I'm going to show you two calculate and calculate. I'm going to show you how to navigate to these pages through Safari or Firefox or whatever. I'm going to show you how to first create these pages, save them in the htdocs area, right? And then we're going to upload them on Safari and show you how to make them work. So we're going to do this all through Dreamweaver, although you could use Text Wrangler for Mac. You can use Text Wrangler is free. So that's pretty good to use. But I'm just going to show you on Dreamweaver. Let's have a look. These are the two pages that I've created. Calculate and Calculate of PHP. I'm going to navigate to them now. Okay. Now, the very first thing you do is when you create these types of pages, you can see there's Calculate and there's Calculate of PHP. What you're going to find is that you create a normal, basic, PHP page. Notice this is calculate.php and the easiest way to create a new page is to go file, new, 
click PHP. I've gone with no CSS for now. It's very easy to add CSS. I'm gonna show you how I did it. Just none for now, and then click Create. The new page will open up. I'm gonna cancel out of that. When the new page opens up, you immediately save it. All right, you go to Save, and then you name it. You name it whatever you want, but remember the, the, the ending has to be .php as it is here, right? Then what you can do to add a CSS page, it's very simple, all I've done is this, okay? Type equals text CSS, rel equals style sheet, the href is css dot, css forward slash basic dot CSS, and you can see there it is there, right? It's a very basic CSS page for the purposes of testing, right? So that's how you navigate to it. Very simple setup. And of course, there's the basic CSS. As I said, very, very simple because we're just focusing on the testing server for now. Then, what you can do is once you've created this, if you have to hand code it, just do it quickly. Tile, title, the link if you need it. It's not necessary, it's optional. Just quickly type this stuff out. Okay, it's a H3 heading. Close it off. It's a form, a basic form. We're going to actually test this page out. We're going to make it work. So this is your first PHP application testing server. It might be for you. Just quickly type all this out. It's a form. Method equals post. That's important. Action equals calculator.php. Now remember, this action is crucial that you realize that calculator.php is that page there. So generally speaking, if you're not familiar, action is an attribute, HTML attribute, where calculator.php is where you're sending this information to be processed by calculator.php. Later on, when you produce other PHP pages, you'll, you'll send this information. For example, in this case, input type equals text, name equals number. When you click submit, a new array is created, an array, and it has a value, a name value pair, which is number and whatever the, the person types in. I'm going to show you how this page looks when we go into live view. And this is one of the advantages of setting up a testing server is when you click live view for PHP pages, it shows you what's going on. There it is, there's the H3. This is your input box. Okay, no label, don't worry about the label for now. This is the submit button. Okay, there's live code, right? And you can see input, that was the input box that we saw. It has a value, name value of number and the actual variable that is sent will have the value of whatever the type person types in. So in this case, let's, let's go to design view here. We don't worry about live code. Let's just go to live view. If I type in 334 and click go, the 334 value is what is sent through to the calculator PHP page. And when I click go, we'll see it later on, that'll actually go through in here. Calculator PHP. Notice this number, right? Number is the same as number. Whatever you name this input, I've named it number, that's what's going to get put into here. So this post will accept number, which I just showed you. Then it's assigned to a variable, and then it's processed or output here. And we're going to show you now how it works. So very simply, to set up a testing server, I've shown you all this so you don't get confused. 
But here's how you set up a testing server. Very simply, let's say you've created these two pages now. You've written them up and you're thinking to yourself, okay, how do I set up this testing server? First thing you do, this folder, let's have a look here. First thing we're gonna do, give it a name and the name can be whatever you want. I've just named it PHP test for the, for the sake of simplicity. The local root folder, you can navigate to it, okay? But as you can see, you can create new folders. And if we go back to here, I can create a new folder in HTT Docs. And the way I usually do it is just double click, right? Now I've got the whole directory sitting in the HT Docs section and I can create a new folder here. And then I'll double click in, I can just create a new folder in here and navigate to it from here, right? So I can go to, and then pick out, this is how I do it. I go to applications, man, HT docs, and anything in here is where I can create the testing server environment. That is that the folders for your files, for your PHP files, your HTML files, everything must be in here, the HT docs. And you can create a new folder as you normally would, but make sure when you create the new folder, it's in here. Then you can select. If I select that now, all these files will change, but for now I'm just gonna keep it here, choose, and it's stayed the same. So now it knows that PHP test, right? PHP test is gonna find all of my files, all these files here, all of these files exist in this PHP test folder, right? All these files are in here. Now the default images folder, if I've got a folder in here called images, there it is there, I navigate to it, it's very simple. You click the folder, right? I'm in the PHP folder, which is the right place. Remember that's sitting inside the man HT docs area. Click images and we're sweet. You've given now access to all the images. Basically what I, what I did then here, I've just navigated to that folder there, right? Now, HTTP address is this on a Mac. It is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon the four eights. Now I've seen some people have trouble here because it depends on the port. But the port on my computer is four eights. I have a feeling it's usually four eights, and if that doesn't work for whatever reason, just delete those out of there and that should work. Localhost colon forward slash, and then your folder name, in my case it's PHP test, whatever you've named your folder. And then this is the file PHP test there, right? It's that file there. Now, in this case, you can change that. But I have to put the four eights in, so I'm gonna put them in because that is the port that my computer is using. Okay? And then you enable cache and that will bring all the files in if you've set up some files. So that's fine. Let's just do another thing here. 